Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back to another kicking, you guessed it, action figure review. Today we are reviewing some more kaiju tokusatsu stuff, and we're doing that with one of my newest figures, the ultra action figure Shin Ultraman. Yes, I'm very excited for this film, cannot wait. Uh, I was gonna get the movie monster series Shin Ultraman, but then I... I I saw this guy for two dollars less. He's smaller, but he's more articulated, and I feel like he'll look better with some of the kaiju as well. We'll have to see. So uh, here is the Ultra Action figure, uh, Shin Ultraman in packaging. Uh, very cool, pretty simple. Product shot on the side. You know, you get text on the front window uh, to see the figure as well. More product shots, legal stuff, a uh, bunch of legal stuff. Uh, on the back here, and then uh, more images of the figure. So yeah, now I'm gonna bust him out of package and see what he's like. And here he is out of package, the ultra action figure Shin Ultraman. Yes, so excited for this film. Uh, let's uh, talk about detail and paint for a sec. Uh, the design of Shin Ultraman is functionally the same as uh, the original Ultraman who you'll see him compared uh, alongside in a bit so that you can see a lot of the real differences because there actually is some difference in the red and silver. Not much, but some. Uh, but this Ultraman, I heard they wanted it to be more like the design that uh, Subaraya originally wanted back in the day, but was changed up a lot. Uh, so he's a lot thinner, kind of creepier, more alien looking in a way. And he's got very thin arms and legs. And then he also doesn't have a color timer now. So I don't know if that means his three minute limit is extinguished uh, or what, but uh, we will see. Let's zoom out a bit. So you can mess around with him. So yeah, he looks good. He's got the screws on the back, uh, which is fine. Remember, on this channel, we judge kids' toys by kids' toy standards and adult collectibles by adult collectible standards. And this is actually a kids' toy. Uh, a more articulated Ultraman toy for the kids. Uh, so your kids, if they like Ultraman, would like this probably. Uh, actually, I would have really liked this Ultraman figure as a kid. Uh, up and down on the head a little bit, but not much. Slight wobble. It's really the side to side. That's the programmed articulation. Uh, up and down on the arms, forward and back. You have a swivel on the elbow, a bend on the elbow, a wrist swivel. Uh, and then the fingers articulate two at a time, as you see. Two at a time finger articulation. And I actually really like that finger articulation. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of common Rider figures and stuff too. The only real problem with it is that it makes it really hard to hold accessories, but I doubt Shin Ultraman will have any actual weapons or anything because he's supposed to be more like a Showa Ultra and Showa Ultras usually didn't have many weapons. New Ultras are full of weapons, which I actually think is cool. Um, a lot of people seem to not like that just because it's different, but I think it's dope. But uh, yeah, he doesn't come with any weapons to hold or anything, so it's not a problem. But once again, if you want to give him accessories from another Ultraman or something, uh, he might have trouble holding him because these, this double finger articulation, oftentimes the hands don't want to stay closed uh, when they're holding something. Uh, leg articulation, in and out, forward, uh, just a little back, but not much, because of his bodacious booty. Actually, it's not very bodacious, it's quite flat. Uh, <laughs> uh, knee bend, pretty good knee bend, uh, for a single, actually. And then the foot is on, like, a ball peg, so he, like, it's got side to side, and, uh, forward, and back, like, up and down, and also it has an ankle pivot. Which is pretty cool. Actually really liking this guy. I actually like, I have several uh, Ultra Action figures and they're all very fun. And if you'd like to see him with some, well I think now's the perfect time because we're going to go into size comparisons. So first up, here is Shin Ultraman with uh, some other Ultras. On the left here we have Ultraman G Primitive, also from the Ultra Action figure line. They scale perfectly together. I know Jeet is a little thicker, but he's supposed to be, so that works out. Then on the right, we have Ultraman Orb Thunder Breaster, uh, which is a cool little figure. That is from the uh, kind of current scale 
in the Ultra Hero series, which is like the cheap vinyl line, which is a fun line. I, I should I should get more from that line, you know? But I prefer my Ultras. Like, honestly, my favorite Ultraman line right now is the Ultra Action Figure line. Because uh, it actually scales well with, uh, you know, figure arts as well, which we're going to see in a sec. Here's Shin with a couple other Ultras. Here on the left we have the SH Figure Arts Ultra 7. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a really good figure. Uh, I kind of wish his head would stay on and his blade would stay in his head. That's why I have him displayed with blade in hand. I, you can see my full review on him if you want. But uh, I think he looks good with the Ultra Action figure, Shin Ultraman. And then on the right, you see the Ultraman that Shin's design is uh, mostly based on. The original Ultraman. This is from the quote-unquote all-new Ultra Hero series, which isn't new anymore, and they don't even really make Ultras in this scale anymore. Uh, he would probably scale better with the movie Monster series, Shin Ultraman which I don't have and can't confirm that 100% because I haven't seen any reviews of him either. But, uh, yeah, you know, so that he's a little small for the 6-inch ones if you still prefer the old 6-inch scale, which I admit is a better scale for most kaiju figures. But I don't really mind the smaller scale with uh, the Ultras, honestly. I really don't. Now I want to show him with the monsters that have been revealed for the film so far. Uh, here we have Shin Naranga from the Movie Monster series, which Ultra figures aren't usually in, but uh, it was probably a good choice. They probably did it for maybe scaling reasons or budget reasons or something. Not entirely sure why, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe it was a Toho thing? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty good with Shin Naranga, because if the other one is indeed 6-inch scale, the Movie Monster series Shin, I mean... Uh, it might even be too big for the Naranga. So I really like how this guy sizes with the Naranga. Of course, the movie's not out. We haven't really seen them next to each other, so we don't know exactly how the scale is going to work. But I think this looks really good. You know, you could get him in some good fighting poses with Naranga in this scale. I think it works out great. And also, Naranga here will almost certainly be the next review. Just FYI. So if you want to see me review Shin Naranga, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And here he is next to the uh, movie monster series Shin Gabora, which is the other revealed monster for the film that we also have figures of. I know we got kind of figures of these monsters really soon. I think that's because the movie was delayed because of COVID, which is why we have so many Shin Ultraman figures uh, without, you know, the movie being out. But, uh... Yeah, you know, I think this is this is exactly the same as Naranga. Uh, I kind of have a theory that this is a cyborg of Naranga, uh, but I'll kind of get into that fan theory in his review, which will be after Naranga's review. So once again, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I got to review this guy too. And of course, I have to show him with the big three of kaiju before this ends because, you know, he fights kaiju. So I got to show him with the big three. Uh, here he is with... Uh, an affordable Godzilla figure that you should easily be able to get for your collection or for your, a kid in your life, you know? Like, son, daughter, niece, nephew, they'd all probably like this. It is the uh, Playmates Godzilla Classics Godzilla 2004 or Godzilla Final Wars. I think it looks good with him. I think that the monsters should always be a little bigger than the Ultras uh, for many reasons. One, I'm just kind of used to seeing them that way because it's usually a relatively same-sized person in the suits. But Shin Ultraman is mocap, uh, not suits. It's the same kind of mocap that was used in Shin Godzilla in like the Attack on Titan live action movies. Uh, at the, you know, the one that Toho pioneered. Uh, but yeah, I think the kaiju should be a little bigger so they feel like more of a threat, you know? So this is perfect. Here he is with the movie monster series Guardian of the Universe 95 Gamera. This is the most recent Gamera from the movie monster series. Uh, figure I really love. I really need to get the most recent Gauss and the Legion as well. And hopefully they'll give us some more Showa Kaiju because I don't think we've gotten those since the Memorial Box which was forever ago. Yes, but just, just thank you Bandai for starting to pay attention to Gamera again. Hopefully that'll garner enough interest to get us a new movie uh, which he very much deserves by the way, especially with, you know, the kind of Kaiju renaissance that we're in right now. Uh, but yeah, I think this is good actually. Uh, in these size comparisons, remember, Ultraman's usually crouching when he fights. Even though all the images we've seen of Shin Ultraman have him standing straight up. Uh, also, keep that in mind, I guess. But yeah, here he is with a Gamera.
And lastly, here he is with a Kong. This is the Mezco Kong, uh, just the standard one. Uh, not my favorite. I feel like Kong should be much bulkier than Ultraman in pretty much any situation, but uh, maybe they should be closer to the same height, I feel like. This Kong doesn't scale with a lot of my kaiju figures, uh, but he is my go-to. He's one of my favorite Kongs, probably one of my favorite kaijus. Uh, I really like him. I really do. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure he works with this Ultraman super well. He'd probably go better with the 6-inch one. So, what are my final thoughts on the Bandai Ultra Action Figure Shin Ultraman? It's pretty cool. Uh, I cannot wait for the movie. I'm very excited for uh, it. And these figures are just keeping me hyped. I'm glad to have a Shin Ultraman in my collection ready to go for when the movie comes out. He's... Very neat. Uh, part of me kind of wishes that they would have gone harder on the design of Ultraman, but that's not a critique of the figure. Uh, you know, I'll talk about that more maybe after the movie comes out. Uh, but he, he's very neat. He looks good. They, they got him skinny, but without making his joints feel fragile or anything, which was very impressive. Uh, I like the paint. It's pretty clean. I know that the hands are kind of not really the shiny metallic silver, and they're more of a dull gray, and that's a bit of a contrast, but uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Plus, you know, all that movement in the fingers and stuff would wear the metallic paint down, because metallic paint scratches pretty easily, uh, all things considered. But uh, I think he scales uh, well with his own line, which is what matters, uh, but also SH Figure Arts, uh, and he really looks cool with standard six inch kaiju as well i think he looks good with them that makes me very happy so that is it thank you all very much for your support please remember to rate comment subscribe check out all the cool links in the description below uh facebook twitter etc and uh i will see you all next time when we review the movie monster series shin the ranga so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell have a good one and I'll see you then.